question was, would better sleep improve the quality of life for many people on the spectrum? And the answer was maybe, right? No large definitive study exists on that topic, but research has shown that typical children and those with autism who undergo surgery to alleviate the breathing because of the sleep apnea. So those kids that have better sleep because they're doing these routines and have had, let's say, unfortunately, let's say they had um, the, the the sleep apnea that's because of a malformation in the nose or like the breathing passages. Once they get that operation, they show significant improvement in social communication and attention and they have less repetitive behaviors. But I do want to reiterate that better sleep is not going to cure autism. I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. Better sleep is not going to cure autism. One thing that irks my nerves, there's a lot of people out here selling dreams to parents, you know, selling these systems, quote unquote, um, telling parents that they're going to cure their kids' autism. First of all, autism is not a virus. It is a disability. And actually, let I want to, you know what? Disability is not a bad word, but let's call it a super ability. It's just a way that our children think that is different than other people, right? A lot of people, especially this is ableist culture, that want to make our children feel like they're less than because their brains function in a different way. That's number one. Number two, there is no cure for autism. Like I said, it's not a virus. You can do things to alleviate the symptoms and improve your child's communication, improve your child's, you know, social expression, improve your child the way that they learn Um through all these therapies and things that you can do, you can change your diet as well, right? But there's no cure for autism. So the people that are claiming that they have cured their child's autism, quote unquote, I have a lot of things to say to those people. And actually, if you know somebody, I would love to have them on my show because I feel like the people that do the same things and that doesn't happen for their child, then that makes that parent feel like they are not doing enough for their child, which is already something that we battle with. But having somebody out here talking about, oh, I cured my child's autism. No, get out of here with that. Um, okay, I'm going to get off. <laughs> I'm going to get off my soapbox. I apologize. <laughs>